Here's Brody Brazil. All right, so let's talk about Mark Edward Vlasic for just a second. Tonight, scratched a healthy scratch for the first time in, I'll be honest, all my 13 years covering the team. I don't recall that that's ever happened. And even as a fan before that, I'm hard-pressed to even remember, if ever, Mark Edward Vlasic has been healthy and available for a game and the Sharks head coach has decided not to start him and not to play him. So I think what is, and what kind of should be a surprise here to everybody, this is not your typical player. This is Mark Edward Vlasic of, of Team Canada. Mark Edward Vlasic, a player who, you know, not long ago we would always say he's, he's not going to get the Norris you know, recognition because he's not scoring a ton of goals, but he would go up against every opponent's top, top line and shut him down on a regular basis, whether he was working with Justin Braun as he did for many years. Like we, we know the pedigree of MEV, Mark Edward Vlasic. And so now to see this, and I, and I don't think this moment comes as a surprise. We know that even in the lineup alone, like minutes wise and pairing wise, you know, at some point he was not in the top two. And then at some point he was now not in the top four. He's been a third third pair defenseman all season long. So that was a step. You know, and that and when I say a step, you know, that that's something that the coaching staff is dictating, they're seeing, and and they are slotting that in. And tonight to slot him out, that is another statement that the coaching staff is trying to make. I just want to I want to make this point though. As much as some people are shocked by this, and you should be. I mean, the way I just built it up, obviously it I, I want people to take notice. That's a big deal. At the same respect, having somebody take one game off, what is Vlasic played 1113, 14 games, something like that? I mean, to think that he's got that many under his belt, he doesn't miss hardly any games for injury, right? Really doesn't. He's been a very healthy player over the years. So is it a, is it a big deal to just say, hey, tonight, Watch this one from the press box. This is not a um, this is not a punishment. I mean, it may, it, but maybe it is, right? But at the same respect, this is not to belittle you. This is not. This is the opportunity to take a breather, mentally, physically, reset. Look at yourself. Look at the you know. Watch it from the press box. Sometimes that's all somebody needs. Now you have to gauge as a coach what's the response you're going to get from this player. Certain individuals will handle this and come back with a fire like you've never seen. Other guys may not take to it as well. It doesn't mean anything to them. It just means, huh, I sat here and watched tonight, and I'm going to go back to the hotel, get on the plane, and go to the next city. So you have to, you know, if you're Bob, you have to know that you push the right button for Mark Edward Vlasic. And we will see. We will see what the button is. I mean, is it possible he wouldn't play again next game? I highly doubt it. I think the one game is it. I, I think a lot of times that alone is the message. But I I want to build it up because, like I said, it's a big deal. But I also want to put it in its place. It's a certain message that's not to be meant than more than a message, right? And how many times in life do you think we all need, you know, the certain wake-up call, the certain, you know, realization? So... Hopefully that makes sense. What comes next? Here, the, the best way to put it is this. What comes next with 44 for me is way more important than where he's been in the last handful of games or this entire season. 